Hi everyone, I'm Donna Louise, and for the love of puzzles, I went shopping again. I know what you're thinking. Why are you buying more jigsaw puzzles? Again, not my fault. I was going to pick up a prescription at the pharmacy that was supposed to be ready, and when I got there, the pharmacist said he needed another 10, 15 minutes, and my pharmacy is inside a big retail store, so I thought, I'm not just gonna stand there and stare at him. So my little feet took me for a walk, and I just happened upon the toy section in the far back corner and came upon some jigsaw puzzles which were actually on a very tall shelf but that's besides the point and I mean they were there so I'm so excited because the first one here not only it is a circle puzzle it has a fully locking border from what I can tell and it's a gradient color puzzle it starts out spiral and then it does have some wonky pieces and then has some typical pieces with just a little bit of curve to make the circle. I love this. And if you look at the front of the box, I'll insert a photo so it's more clear, it looks like it's the solution key. So if you do get stuck, you can look at it and it can help you pick out what pieces needs to go where. Now because it's a color gradient puzzle, I'm hoping I can actually do this without like looking at the solution key on the front of the box. Wouldn't it be crazy if this is just a random pattern and it doesn't help you at all solving it? So yeah, I was very excited to get this puzzle. Remember in this video, I'm just gonna quickly overview what I've bought. All these puzzles will be built on my channel. I'll go over brands and, and puzzle pieces and whatnot, but for now, I'm just excited to show you what I got. So a circle color gradient puzzle with a fully interlocking border from what I can tell on the front picture. I've decided I don't like borders that don't fully interlock. It's, it's just a pain. So yeah, that's the first puzzle I picked up. Now, after that, as at the same store, I found these next two puzzles and I like to always have puzzles that I consider maybe easier or quicker builds. These were just, they were cheap, they were on sale. So I got these two, they're from the same company, the same series. Um, I would consider this to be a color block puzzle and this is just a fun little colorful puzzle. I actually, now looking at it, it might be a little bit more difficult than I think because it's a bit darker. There were a few more puzzles in this series, um, a total of six, so I picked up two, two of them. But yeah, I just thought they would be quicker, fun, easy, you know, when my brain is too challenged from the crypt puzzles or these circle puzzles, I can try to mellow out and do something, you know, a little bit more traditional. Looking at this puzzle now again, I realize it's, it's a photograph. But part of it is in focus and part of it is not in focus. And what was it? I recently did the glitter gradient puzzle. I love the glitter and the, I love the gradient, but it is a photograph and part of it was out of focus. And I did notice that kind of got hard on my eyes after a while. So it'll be interesting to see how I do with that. Now, those were the puzzles that I bought because the pharmacist needed a few extra minutes. Not my fault. These two beauties I bought because I got a notification that they were on sale and I wanted to buy them and why would I buy them at full price when I can buy them on sale? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, doggies and kitties, I got the silver and the pink crip puzzles. I am so excited for these. So excited because looking at the back and from what I can tell online, one, the border is fully interlocking, thank goodness. It looks like it's a complete circle and then it goes more rectangular square. So it's a different shape than, um, maybe this one will appear better. It's a different shape than the gold puzzle. It looks like these two are the exact same pattern and people mix and match the pieces. So I'm sitting here going, how am I going to build these puzzles? They have the same number of pieces. They look identical in the back of the box. Are they truly the same cut? And if so, can I mix and match the pieces? So I have all these ideas for videos to record. 
Should I do them both at the same time? Should I alternate pink piece, silver piece, pink piece, silver piece? I don't know, I'm so excited. Leave your comments below. What do you recommend? Do I just do one at a time and then I can mix and match the pieces once they're done? Do I alternate grabbing a piece of different color? I don't know, I'm so excited. I'm kind of hoping that I could maybe do a bit more of these puzzles without using the solution key. I got okay-ish <laughs> at the gold one, but eventually, yeah, I mean, hours later, I was like, no, give me the solution key. This one, I think, I think they'll be a bit easier. I say that now. I say that now and watch me. Five hours in, I have six pieces connected and I'll be like, where's the solution key? I'm just so excited that I got these. I got them for a great price. I'm expanding my crypt um, collection. I need to get the rest of them. I'm missing the black, the gradient color one, and the metallic mint. I will eventually source them. But, oh, so excited. So what do you think? How should I build these puzzles? Leave your comments below. Now, this is where things get interesting. Teaser sneak peek i've been looking to do another giant puzzle the biggest puzzle i've done is this one hanging on the wall behind me 5,000 piece loved every moment of it 5,000 pieces all in one bag and i loved it so much it is glued it is framed it it's just it's something that i just adored so i've been looking to do another large scale puzzle there's not that many out there when you're talking about 10,000 pieces and higher. And a lot of them, some of them I, I do like the images, some I, you know, I don't so much. Also the problem is sourcing them and finding them here in New Zealand. So the other day I was perusing the internet, minding my own business, and I came upon a puzzle that I had never seen before. I don't know why I'd never seen it, I'd never heard of it, and I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it before I looked at how many pieces it had. I hoed and I hummed, hummed and I hoed, and I thought, I'm going to do it. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'll give you a few more clues. I had to order it from Europe. It's hopefully going to take three to four weeks to arrive. I did see that it has shipped. It's going to be all consuming. I'm going to absolutely love it i hope i hope i'm so excited for it i would classify it as an epic jigsaw puzzle and i don't want to say any more to ruin it so leave your comments below which epic jigsaw puzzle do you think i've just ordered and that's going to take us on a journey together <laughs> now i didn't just buy it for the number of pieces i also bought it because the format, the layout, the image in the puzzle is something that I enjoy. I've actually done a series of four puzzles kind of similar. And I'll just give you another hint. That series was from Holson. I haven't shown those puzzles here on this channel yet, but they are glued and framed up in the doggy playroom, the garage. So it is an aesthetic that I always already enjoyed. And, and I won't say anything more, but I'm not going to buy any more puzzles unless it's the crypt black mint green and gradient. And unless it's more color bloom collections, <laughs> but that's it. And that's it. I got to stop and we'll go on this journey and adventure together. So I'm so excited. Leave your guesses below, really. And leave your opinions on how I should build the, these two puzzles. Oh, goodness. Can you tell I'm excited? I'm excited because I'm rambling here. Oh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. For the love of puzzles, I hope you enjoy my videos. Please consider subscribing. And until next time, ciao. So excited. <laughs>